हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट अबाउट द सिलेबस एंड हाउ वी शुड अप्रोच द बुक नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू And 
compound data of car is that Q linked with and more. So in this also we have one more categorization. These all are linear. These all are linear data structure. Okay. We also have the graph as a data structure. And this is a non-linear data structure. These are non-linear data structures. So compound data structures are further classified into two categories. One is linear data structure and another is non-linear data structure. Why these are linear? Because they are stored in a linear fashion, one after another. A sequence is always maintained between the items. But here a sequence is not maintained. Okay. This is it's not in our syllabus. We will not discuss about it. And when we move to chapters, then we will see what are the values and link list. Or I can give you one example, a stack might be stored like this, one over the other. So if some items comes in a stack, it will come here, then another will come here, on top of that. And when the item will be removed, it will go from the top. Okay, so this is a structure. And Q is a, take an example of a cinema hall and ticket window. So in ticket window, there is a huge number of people in the line. And that scenario is represented by a Q. So a Q is something like this. And here is our ticket window. And here is person 1. And here is person 2. Okay. So here is a window and in front of window there is a queue of persons. Whenever a new person comes, it comes at the end. And whenever a person leaves, it leaves from the front. So this type of Similarly, we have a linked list like okay. So similarly, we have a linked list like one. Then the data item one that is connected to another data item two that is connected to another data item three that is connected to four that is connected to five. So it is similar to array. What is an array? Array is something like this: one and then two and then three. These are data items. So, array is stored continuously in memory where the entries can be stored randomly, but they are all connected from 1 I will directly go to 2, from 2 I will go to 3. So, a sequence will be maintained, but in the memory they will be stored randomly. Whereas, in the case of array, a sequence is still maintained 1 after 2, after 3, after 4, but they are also stored continuously in the array. What is the When we go to the chapters, we will learn about these all. Okay. Now we have operations over operations. Over a data structures. So what are the different different operations a data structure can support? So these operations are insert. Delete, search, sort, traverse, or traverse. So these are kind of operations that we support. Some data structure supports some operation and some other data structure supports some operation. Some data structure is efficient for some operation. like 
like the pile of books is arranged and you want to implement that scenario in that that state will be a good data structure. So these type different different operations and different different data structures. And we have to map that which operations are better for which data structures. According to that we take data structures and do our purpose. Okay. So we will discuss when we go to the chat. Okay, so the next thing we wanted to discuss about the algorithms. So what are algorithms? Algorithm is a finite set of instruction that is used, a finite set of instruction that are to do a predefined task, to accomplish a predefined task. Okay. So an algorithm is a set of instructions that are arranged in a specific order and are used to perform a certain kind of operations, predefined operations. Okay. So suppose for an example If I have to search an element inside an array, the example is search an element inside an array. So suppose this is our array, array, or I can. We will see that how array is defined in here. Just for an example, suppose this is our array or not go for the syntax. Suppose this is our array and there are elements stored. Okay, suppose this is our array and elements are stored and we have to find whether 3 is present in the array or not. So this is basically a search operation. So what algorithm says? Algorithm says that first take the element. Okay, so what will the algorithm tell us? It trade over the rules. It trade over all the elements of the array and compare one by one. So basically, these are instructions that take first element. Okay, so this one. 
Okay. 